day everyone okay so the harsh reality of covid is that some businesses will be closing down um, i got the unfortunate news um, that one business uh, this morning is not necessarily closing down and they're not closing down entirely but um, they are, are altering their operations to move back into a residential location rather than a commercial location, uh, which means that uh, they won't have any more employees. So there are things that need to be done and that's what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to talk about what you need to do as an employer the moment your business shuts down um, in relation to what your employees need. Now, if it's a full closure of the business, you have 30 days to file T4s and then make your remittances and then you are done and your payroll account can be closed after all of that has been uh, assessed and balances have been cleared, okay? So they don't have to be filed next February. Uh, if it's, you know, now it's July, um, they will be done by the end of August, okay? But if it's a partial closure, if you're still operating and the business technically is still going to be going, you just don't have any employees, uh, those T4s um, can be filed prior to February of, of next year, uh, but they don't have to be filed until February of next year. Okay? Um, the employees of the business aren't going to be looking for the T4s prior to that, so there's no, uh, no rush in that case. Okay? And there's a ton of other things that need to be done when a business closes down. It's not as simple as just stopping operations. There are, um, you know, if there's assets to be to be distributed, to be taken by the shareholders, there there's certain accounting procedures that need to be done with that kind of stuff. So make sure that you're, you know, consulting your professional. Um, and on that note, I had somebody come into my office yesterday, which again is one of my favorite things is, is when people from the, that, that aren't professionals in the industry have their opinion or think they know what the rules are. Um, nine times out of ten, uh, your neighbor's brother's friend um, doesn't actually know what the rule is. Consult the professional. And I'm not talking just accounting. I'm talking you know, legal, insurance, all that kind of stuff. Uh, talk to the people that are actually in the, in the industry. Um, it's going to serve you quite well. In this particular instance, it was uh, a conversation about uh, DOTs and, and what the proper um, insurance and registration and all that kind of stuff was for, for trailers. And they got all the wrong information. So, uh, But they did the right thing. They contacted the DOTs. Um, they corrected all of their errors and life's good and they even got some business out of it which is really really nice which is another good point uh, the more people you talk to the more business you're gonna get to okay especially if they know that you're a responsible business owner so I hope that helps I know it helped them so do the right thing talk to the right people uh, take care of yourself take care of your family and take care of your friends be well